It is no secret that the Tri-State's roads are in need of some serious TLC and law state lawmakers are now facing a $1 billion deficit for road and bridge projects. And that means no money for new repairs, improvements, nothing until leaders find a fix. And that got Move Up Cincinnati reporter Pat LaFleur thinking, did Ohio build a highway system it couldn't afford to maintain? It's a common strategy to improve roads by making them wider, to accommodate more drivers and make them safer. But now officials say they have a system they can't afford to keep up. Commuters like Ben Smeeks know just how bad traffic on I-75 can be. His drive between Covington and Westchester each day gives him a front row seat. And it's not just 75 he has to deal with. During the day, normally my job takes me around the region and I drive 275, 471, 71. So, so generally, all the traffic. I-75 in Cincinnati has been under construction for nearly a decade as part of a road improvement project estimated to cost between $550 and $650 million, mostly generated by state and federal gas tax revenue. But Smeeks isn't convinced traffic has gotten any better. If anything, it's gotten worse. It's hard to tell because the, some of the construction work has been there for so long. According to ODOT officials, the state has widened its roadways by only about 5% over the last 35 years, a minimal amount. But urban planner John Young worries that any widening project will just mean higher maintenance costs later. You know, if you increase the capacity, then you're increasing the long-term maintenance costs of that, of that uh, piece of infrastructure. It could also result in even more traffic. Widening roads to uh, reduce congestion is like uh, loosening your belt buckle to uh, reduce weight. As capacity expands, the traffic uh, after about five to ten years goes back to the same uh, traffic congestion that you had previously. And then there's safety. While wider roads can mean more space between cars, Young said it can also encourage speeding. Take State Route 32 in Union Township, a recently widened road near I-275. Not long after that project completed, the area saw two fatal crashes in a single month. I'm not a traffic engineer. I don't know what the solution is, but there's a definite problem here with two fatalities in a short period of time in the same exact location. Now, we spoke with an ODOT spokesman earlier today who said the biggest reason for the I-75 widening the project was to accommodate increasing truck and freight traffic, which has been on the rise as the economy bounces back. For now, reporting from the studio, Pat LaFleur, 9 on your side. Well, at the heart of this issue is the possibility of an increase in Ohio's gas tax, which would help pay for these growing maintenance needs. Pat and the Move Up Cincinnati team have been following that for months. Read more about where that stands by checking out Pat's article. It's on WCPO.com right now. All through 2019, stay with Nine on Your Side for special coverage on topics dealing with growth and transportation. We do have a team of reporters covering this topic on air and online. Of course, that's WCPO.com.